team like Kyrie and KD Or the Lake Show with King James and AD Wish I could match him up with the bad boys from the 80s But no black and white, I need that in HD Yeah, dog. Yo! What's good, y'all? It's your boy and Hen Dog, and we back to it. You know how we do it. Gang, it's the one and only you cannot call me Jordan Southern, aka the one foot guy, aka Mrs. Who K himself, aka yes, Julius Irvin. Yes, Sursky, yes, Skursky. I say yes, Skursky. <laughs> yes, Sursky. We're about to get into the 10 greatest Julius Irvin moments. And I think one of the, the, the dopest phrases that, that we didn't kind of talked about with, this, with the whole Dr. J thing is. He was the he was the person that that Michael Jordan and Magic Johnson and all of them they had on on their wall. He's favorite player, favorite player, favorite player. He's favorite, favorite player. player, favorite player. So that, that that's that's crazy because it's like you got you got you got to give him his respect. You got to give him you know his his, his flowers you know while, while you can because you know it's everybody talks about Jordan, everybody talks about Bird, everybody talks about LeBron, Kobe. everybody talks about no, we, they they supposed to talk about Kobe, but that's for another story. Yeah, you talk about all these people, but you gotta give his flowers to the person that, you know, started all this shit. The person that everybody idolized before all of them. And it was Dr. J. It was Dr. J. So we're about to get into the 10 greatest Julius Irvin moments. Let's get it. Let's get to it. Shout out crew films. Julius Irvin, otherwise known as Dr. J, was one of the legends in the game of basketball, both in the ABA and NBA winning championships in both leagues. He was one of the most fascinating, high-flying figures whose dunks were as flashy as they were polarizing. Oh in God, honor of his Hall of Fame career, these are the Great. 10 greatest Dr. J moments. Oh my God. He's doing one hand windmill. Number one, one women. college Okay, career. college career. Julius Irving's story would not start in high school, but on the courts of Rucker Park, mm. where he would rule the park Jeez. with his amazing moves, drawing- Where is Dr. J from? Is he, is he from New York? He says he's in high school at Rucker Park. Write in the comments where Dr. J is from, because I'm, I'm not too sure. Yeah, I don't have a snap on black so now. Yeah, I'm one. sure the East Coast or some, somewhere, but let us know in the comments where Dr. J is from. Crowds in every game he played, after graduating high school, Irving enrolled at the University of Massachusetts in 1968. In his mm. two varsity college basketball seasons, he Your averaged 26 like points per game, with 20 rebounds per game. Becoming he averaged 20 rebounds? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can we go back on some stats? I need, I need to hear that. Let me, let me, let me chill out, because what? Six points per game. Graduating high school, Irving enrolled at the University of Massachusetts in 1968. In his two varsity college basketball seasons, he averaged 26 points per game with 20 rebounds per game. 26 and 20. 26 what's crazy is, did you hear him say varsity college? college? Yeah, yeah, I was going to speak. Like, that kind of threw me off. What's, it's, was that an a era or was it just levels of college back then? Yeah, right in the comments, what, what, what was he talking about? Because I kind of remember they said something about Kareem was, did the same thing where he... Play varsity as a freshman in college for UCLA or something like I, so, I don't know how it is. It was varsity and junior varsity uh, college teams. Write in the comments about that. Kind of explain that to us a little bit because we we don't know. Yeah, we don't we, know. We, we're we're, we, we we're lost. Some, we need some clarity on that. Players to average more than twenty points and twenty rebounds per game in NCAA men's basketball history. Crazy. Wow. Give me that! Number two, ABA, ABA. Championship. ABA, two time. Julius Irving would spend the first five years of his career in the ABA, two with the Virginia Squires and three with the New York Nets. As a rookie, Dr. J would average 33 points per game and 20 rebounds. In 1974, and 20 as, he a win a as a rookie. What? So my question for the ABA is, did the a he said he said he he played in the ABA for five years. Yeah. So did the ABA just like end after that fifth year, no. or he was just that good? He moved to the NBA. So this is what happened. It was a merger. 
Okay. I actually know okay. the history behind this one. Okay. So it was a merger. The ABA was going out. So they merged a couple teams uh, with the NBA. Do okay. you know that how Flint Tropics was? Yeah, yeah. That yeah. was real. Like that storyline of them, not Flint Tropics, but them actually merging teams. Okay. And how like San Antonio win and the Nets win and yeah. Denver win. That's how uh, that that's how all those teams got to the NBA okay, from sense. the merger. I mean I remember the ABA NBA merger. Yeah. Okay, that makes that's sense. That's how that all that sense. happened. That makes sense. Okay, okay. NBA championships for the New York Nets, defeating the Utah Stars, averaging 27 points per game. Irving also won the last championship in the ABA existence in 1976, averaging 34 okay. points and 12 rebounds. This time the 34 and 12? Crazy. Hey! It's not all ducks. 34 and 12 is not all ducks. It can't be. It's a lot of them. It's a lot of them. Remind me of Giannis a little bit, like just how down he looked very dominant to me. I don't think he's a big as big as Giannis though. Nah, but just not like even close, but it looks like yeah. 1976 ABA slam dunk contest. Our number three moment stays in the ABA, where Dr. J will perform in the ABA dunk contest. With other God. ABA All Stars, he also had those, long man. NBA Definitely. careers like George Irving, Artis Gilmore, and David Thompson. In this dunk contest, Julius Irving would at least high flying dunks never seen before, oh, including wow. the free throw line hey. dunk famously duplicated by Michael Jordan. You hear him say it. Like this is Michael Jordan's favorite player. Like this is his favorite player, y'all. Magic had him on the wall. Crazy. Look at it. <laughs> Number four. Look at the it. 1977 NBA Finals. 77. While NBA Julius Finals. Irvin would only win one NBA championship, Crazy. he would make the finals many times mm. and performed well during them. During the 1977 NBA Finals, oh my the God. Philadelphia 76ers faced the Portland Trailblazers. While Dr. J would have many highlight really? plays during the series, he was the game six threw the down a vicious jumps. slam dunk <laughs> over Bill Walton, one of the best centers at the time. This dunk is considered by many to be one of the strongest oh dunks God. ever attempted. He smacked the ball out. You see how he smacked the ball out? All five in. defenders right They said that's arguably one of the strongest dunks ever. <laughs> he went through all five players to dunk on Bill. Oh yeah, my he was God. Get out the way, Bill. Come here. Get out the way, Why Bill. Why are you reaching? You set your man's up for failure. You really set him up. And you watched him. Cause you gotta jump. You wa he watched him die. He watched him go to the afterlife. <laughs> Number five, MVP awards. Yeah, how many MVPs? Doctor J was dominant in both the NBA and ABA, winning the ABA hey! Most Valuable Player Award three Kareem? times, oh, from 1973 to 1976. Hey. Also winning the NBA Most Valuable Player in 1981. 1981. Okay, so the year after season one. Yeah. Okay. Crazy. Oh my god. So it's a lot more for that story to be rolling then. All Star game. Crazy. Lay him. With the chain swing. Hey, that's tough. That's tough. Like, you got a little finesse with it and everything. 30, 12, 3, 4, and a block. A little bit of everything. Look at that trophy. Man, that's a whole team trophy. <laughs> Look at that trophy for MVP yeah, back yeah, in the day. Six for the moment comes from the 1980 Ooh, NBA right here. Julius Irvin. If y'all don't know, we are both going to be in the winning time HBO. This is a uh, this is a scene. This is one of the most important, you know, parts of of episode one. As you know, um, not episode one of, of season one. Is you know just the, the whole dynamic between the Sixers and the Lakers. So imagine this, getting that ship, man. Yeah, exactly. So this this is this is this is dope right here that we get to see this. It would match up against the Los Angeles Lakers oh Magic Johnson. One of my, my Sixers icon, most iconic plays, right? Series. Bro, I threw and my right shoulder out doing that leg. Oh, the shot, cool. see? Dr. See? J executed a seemingly they were trying to make me cock over my head too much. I think Faye was cleaner than that. Over the 17th center, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Come here, this Kareem. Move, along with his free throw line dunk, Them soft, has become boy. one of the most <laughs> signature events of his career. 
I think we should do a separate video reacting to some of those Number late, late seven. Philly games. Don't the say Talk a little bit more season. about those. During the 1983 years season, Dr. J would have one of his best seasons, where Irving would perform Wait. one of the most memorable plays during the final moments of a regular season game against the Los Angeles Lakers. Irving mm. would perform a dunk better described as the Rocks of Baby Bro, Slam dunk crazy. over the Laker defender Michael Cooper, one of the most polarizing dunks in NBA ever. history. Ever, ever. The greatest dunk of all time. Then you know what? Is that Cooper? Yeah. Look at my boy Delonte and Q. Number eight. <laughs> yeah. NBA champion, 1983. During the 1983 season, after many chances, Julius Irving. Mo Cheeks. Shout out to Mo Cheeks, aka Debo. Debo. Okay. Okay. So, so 1980, the the Lakers, the Lakers won. Oh no, the Lakers beat the Sixers in 1980, and then they end up playing each other again in 1983. That's what it looked like? Mm. Okay, okay, okay. I'm starting to know my history, y'all. I'm starting to learn it a little bit. When the 76ers acquired the all-star Moses Malone, oh, they got dominating Moses. Oh, okay. the regular season, the 76ers were going to lose just one game in the playoffs. Look at that. In the championship. Magic was holding him. Mo. Mo. Yeah. Dime. Yeah. Mo to Malone. Moses to Malone, oh, to, to your boy. <laughs> Shout out to Philly, man. So Dr. J got him one? Yeah. They've been knocked down a lot. They've been criticized in every way, every shape, every form possible. That's crazy. He went so many times and only got one. Got That's one. He was Jerry West shit. Yeah. Number nine. Oh, we have sixty-three. Okay, so I want to see this. There gotta be more than dunks. One of the most unguardable players That's in both the ABA and the NBA, oh. with his highest scoring season in nineteen seventy-six with thirty-four points per game. He oh, won so multiple not scoring this, titles game, in both like. leagues, and his career high is sixty-three points. He ranked six all time in scoring in the NBA. Didn't know that one. Didn't know that either. But 63 is a lot of points. You know, you got your wheeled up there with a hundo. Yeah. You got your uh, Kobe oh, on the same with the head in one. You got your Jordan, 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 that was 63. 63. Oh my God. Devin Booker has 70. Last one. Let's see. His impact on the game. game. Dr. J was the inventor of doctor. many of the dunks and plays we see in today's exactly. NBA. Exactly. He paved the way for many athletes paved as his way. play translated from the paved ABA the to the NBA. He was still one of the league's most dominant and polarizing figures. And those are the 10 greatest moments from Julius Erdogan. He's your favorite player, favorite, favorite, favorite player, player man. Jay. Leave it in the comment section below. But until then, it's been your boy, Johnny Walker LA. And I'm out. Shout out to Johnny Walker in LA, man. Good video, man. Shout out to Johnny video, Walker in LA. Yeah, that was a good video. It kind of like, because I feel like all I ever, you know, see of Dr. J is just dunks. Dunks on dunks on dunks. I kind of want to dive deeper into Dr. J to kind of see, you know, exactly what his, what his game was about. Maybe, and I did it a little bit. Maybe, maybe we should do a series like that where we just try to tap in and see all the top dunkers in the NBA, their actual game, their actual like, like games. so Vince Carter, like everything guys. other than they dunk, yeah, like Dominique Wilkins, Vince, Sean Kemp, yeah, 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 you want to something, you want to something, you want to something. New series coming soon, y'all. New series coming soon. But I hope y'all enjoyed that video. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like the video. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And write something in the comments. Write what your favorite Dr. J moment is. I, I love to see it.